Hello. Good, thanks. Thank you. Good day, Nathan. Hello. Hello, Sonia. Stay away at that. Good day. Hello. Hi, David. Hello. Uh, and so you're working on the Yeah, so we've got this set up for a competition for all the week. So the whole thing goes? Uh, this is actually our second robot, so we have a robot already going. And yet the whole thing goes to Singapore, and we bring it back to the lab in the city, and we carry the lab in the city, and we come all the time, and we really try to see the decisions that we need, as well as the city where it's at home. So I should recognise this is a gesture, so you know, might be too sensitive, but it's very sensitive to your silhouette. So anyone who shares a form of silhouette, I can recognise uh, general face, so anyone's face, and I can recognise specific faces. So I'm not sure why this is a certain face, and it's silhouette, and it's a picture, it says that's probably a human. If it moves like a human, then it goes, it's most probably a human. Right, and so if, in terms of specific Someone who gets you know, disability sort of issues. Sure, yes. <laughs> in the home, and then someone who's like, you know, would recognise that's from. Probably a bad thing, yeah. Probably a bad thing, and what would you do next? So the idea then would be have a screen on the front, and it has something like a scotch there, and you would call your son or your doctor or your mum or whoever, and say, oh, your grandmother is having a problem, would you like to talk to her? Video cameras would come on on the person, and then the human at the other end could say, could it be the nurse could say, yes, yeah, something's wrong, call an ambulance. Otherwise, it would be programmed so if you're just not responding at all, it just goes back to your license. It's amazing. It's really amazing, isn't it? Right. And so, exactly, so, um, it's with roots. <laughs> okay. okay, so I'm going to take that. Thank <laughs> you.